Alzheimer's impacts half of all black families. HSC is investing in a new research study to find out why. To join, please visit blackalzbrainstudy.com or call 817-735-2963. It's Sybil Wilkes with What You Need to Know. Today is Tuesday, February 2nd, 2021. Democratic leaders are working to handle the problem of freshman Georgia Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. Greene's accusations include liking posts, calling for the execution of Democratic leaders, and calling school shootings staged events carried out by actors. Well, House Democrats stepped up Monday to file a resolution to remove Greene from her recent House committee assignments. Number two, when Kamala Harris took her oath of office, the U.S. gained its first woman, Black, and South Asian American vice president. And as many celebrated her rise, some black women felt defeated as the only African-American woman left the halls of the U.S. Senate. Organizers and black women in Congress, including Representative Barbara Lee of Oakland, California, are pushing to secure a seat for the next black woman senator. Number three, President Joe Biden met yesterday with 10 Republican senators who have drawn up a smaller counterproposal to Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID-19 rescue plan, but hopes for a bipartisan deal to provide much-needed coronavirus relief appear doubtful. The substantially smaller price tag of the Republican bill is less than a third of the size of the economic stimulus the White House and leading economists say the nation desperately needs to shore up the economy. Number four, the Rochester, New York Police Department has released body camera footage of officers responding to a family trouble call January 29th, where they handcuffed and pepper sprayed a nine-year-old girl who was black. After unsuccessful attempts to get the girl into the car, one officer pepper sprayed her. The Rochester police force is already facing scrutiny for its treatment of 41-year-old Daniel Prude, a mentally ill black man who died last year after police placed a hood over his head. Number five, the NBA is feeling the pressure from prison reform advocates who have publicly decried Detroit Pistons owner, Tom Gores. Gores profits from racial inequity in the criminal justice system. In a letter published in the New York Times, NBA commissioner Adam Silver was pushed to demand Gore to sell the team that's valued at almost one and a half billion dollars and step down from the NBA board. Here's your daily inspiration from Yogi's Jewels. A smile has the power to change a life, even your own. So smile. Join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with J. Anthony Brown as we discuss today's top headlines and more. Thank you to our What You Need to Know partners, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the University of North Texas Health Science Center at Fort Worth. To subscribe to my free daily newsletter, please visit SybilWilkes.com. Be informed, be empowered.